um, the the question that you know I think I've been always struggle is how to set up the price and and what is the uh, I'm not sure whether this is the right word like the market price you know uh, mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> right now for for this the market price it's something that it is. I think it's interesting and it's important to look and to know and to understand what's the local price, the market price. But ultimately, I think you need to know what it's going to be your price. And first of all, what I would do, and this is the exercise that I, that I did for calculating the pricing for my classes, was let's say, let's make an example that your class is a, you want to go to your client's home and teach them, give them a 60 minute session. So what are the things you need to factor or take into consideration? Um, you need to, uh, to think how much would be your price per hour. As per Jamila professional, per hour, I'm gonna charge this price. And this is only you who is going to decide. You're going to look for a price that feels good for you just for the price of your hour, let's say for your hourly rate, mm -hmm. okay? And then if your service is, for example, going to your client's home and delivering a class of 60 minutes, then you need to also factor in the time that it takes you to go to that, uh, to that uh, person's uh, house, I would also factor that in together with the time that it would take you to do the class. Why? Because this is all time that you are not going to be able to do anything else but going there. And if someone is asking you to, uh, to go to their place, then mm -hmm. this is time that you need to consider. It's a different thing if the person comes to your place, then maybe you don't want to factor that time in. That's totally fine. But I'm doing just this example of mm -hmm. going to someone's place, you know, then mm -hmm. you need to factor that time. Also, uh, if your classes are very particular, I know that each holistic practitioner has a different modality, but if your class, for example, let's say that you do, I'm making this up, Jamila, but let's say that you're gonna go and see your client who lives in Tong Lo and has this, and you are going to do this uh, astral ch astrological chart that it's connected to their family tree and it's very personalized and it's very uh, particular for this person. So that also has taken you a time to prepare because it's very highly personalized. It's not that you go there, go to the person and do everything and go. If you have to prepare something in advance, then I would say you would also need to factor that time. Considering your early rate, you would consider how long it takes you to prepare, to go to the place and to deliver. Now, what happened is most of the times, it's that you're gonna feel that uh, sometimes it happens that the price comes much higher than the market rates. So how do we go about that? Mm -hmm. If you are like, wow, if I am going to, to, to go to my client's house and I'm gonna charge like say 5,000 baht, which is about, let's say it's about 100 euro more or less, yeah? Or a little bit more, something like that. But you think, wow, but there is other people that are doing something and they are charging 800 baht, <laughs> how am I going to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> how am I going to do that? And so what I would suggest here is to specialize. It's to specialize. And to specialize means to find who are the people that you want to help. This is going to be also helpful for other people that might be watching this video, like uh, Richie, which then we're going to check Richie's website. Uh, but specializing, I've been uh, mentioning this before in the past, 
uh, Jamila also when we were doing the commitment consistency program together, one of the first things we talked about was the niching down and to find your niche. You want to find <clears throat> who is the person that you want to help, why that person, why that kind of person, what are the problems that they have, and how can you help them with those problems? <clears throat>